the IEP is the driving force, you know, behind my kids, even though we're in this full, in, full inclusion model, personalized learning model. So we're making things like, you know, we might accommodate a kid by moving them closer to the board or something like that. We might make, we might make modifications based on, uh, you know, again, how are they performing and their mastery of skills. So, you know, my kids, I'm not going to ask you to maybe do 20 things to show mastery. I might say, give me five or six. And if you get four out of six, you've shown mastery, you're ready to move on to the next task. The approach we're taking um, with having the different groups come together is helping the diverse learners just melt into the classroom. Kids don't even know that they have IEPs. The other students don't even know. They're just a bunch of kids coming together, working with various teachers on various skills, and uh, it integrates beautifully. So I'll have maybe three kids who don't have an IEP and two kids with an IEP. They're all getting the same work at that point. They're all responding in different ways sometimes, but we're all working on the same thing. So it, it kind of levels the playing field, and it takes away any kind of stigma that the kids might have. Um, I bet that if we went in there and said, do you know which kids have an IEP in your class or who need special help? A lot of the kids are going to be like, I don't know, everybody needs special help sometimes. So it levels that playing field for them.